everyone hope the year the new year is good to you happy new year uh, we're in another year 2024 and um, I'm glad that uh, God has allowed us to see another year uh, it's by his grace that we are alive we cannot take it for granted and I uh, want to thank you all for just joining me at this time of um, the morning. It's actually it's actually afternoon. Uh, just decided to talk to us and uh, really just engage us this year. Happy New Year once more. I really pray and hope that this year will bring goodness and kindness into our lives. I want to thank God that I'm also alive and uh, ready to face the new year with um, the challenges and everything that it will come with. Um, uh, last year was uh, great, uh, not so great, but it was great. Uh, there was just so much to be achieved, so much to be done, so much to be um basically so much that needed to be achieved and uh, whatever was achieved was achieved. I want to thank God for another year that uh, um, I can be able to just uh, look into my life and um, thank him for what he has done and what he is yet to do. Uh, in a few days time I'm going to be celebrating my birthday. Actually my birthday is tomorrow. The 24th of January, I'll be celebrating my birthday. And uh, looking back, I just I have so much to thank God for because I have lived many years. Uh, growing up um, from a family of one mom, one dad, and uh, several siblings, I can imagine what my parents went through to raise us all up. To all finish a primary school, to all finish secondary school, and to really start our lives. Uh, growing up was great. I grew up in an average family. Uh, my parents really tried. Uh, stories are told of how we were uh, among the average living family. And by then, when they say average, average was good. We would do shopping every end month and. A trolley would pull our uh, shopping. Uh, we would come with a trolley full of shopping, and that was considered quite commendable back then. I have childhood memories of really just us doing shopping and uh, really just having everything that we needed. Uh, that is when I was growing up, uh, probably lower class. And of course, as uh, time went by and uh, the family grew, challenges became many and uh, uh, it, was, it was intense even going to school. It was one person going this time, another one going the next time because so much needed to be bought, so much needed to uh, really just be. Um, everyone had their own desires. Well, the one who was in an upper class had their own needs and then with my lower class had their own needs so for my mom and dad to really try and make sure she, uh, they met all our needs it was not easy uh but I, rem I have fond memories of my childhood i have very fond memories um well i grew up many years ago and life has really changed uh compared to now life has really changed so much has changed uh, we were born in an era where there were no computers, no phones, no TVs. If you had a TV, you were really considered quite rich. And I remember when we bought our first television, man, we, we, were, we were on top of the world. On top of the world. Thank God for my mom, she was able to get us a TV. And uh, that was a change of our lives. We were really in another level. And yes, um, growing up was good. It was crazy because we lacked many things. We lacked many things. Sometimes even food was 
neither here nor there but uh, god helped us to not die because of hunger of one day or two days uh, we somehow managed and every one of us grew up and uh, started fending for ourselves i remember when i was in uh, secondary school it was crazy crazy i was in a school um that was out of town and so we would go with my mom we would walk my mom would walk with me leave me somewhere as i went to school and she would walk to work i remember such moments with such nostalgia it, it's it's just those memories that make you really appreciate your parents because of what they would do we were many children yet for you to remember that one memory of what your mom did with you you'd wonder when she was taking care of the other children and somehow everyone was taken care of and so uh yeah growing up was good we we didn't have so much that our people nowadays have you know so we grew up with very little and now where we have reached in life we have to accommodate so much that technology has come up with that um, our life has come up with so much has just changed good things and mostly even bad things it's, it, we look at some things and we say during our time these things were not happening these things were not there and so having to live both worlds it, it's 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 um it's just work to to transform from how you were brought up to how you are living as a grown up because even for those of us who have children you have to tell your children we didn't have this you guys you have this but now that they are growing with those things how should we take it we grew up with those without those things how should we take it and so it's just accommodating both worlds and it's crazy and so for me today i really just wanted to talk to us about just share with us a part of my growing up i know i am a city girl i went to primary school here in nairobi secondary school in nairobi worked all my years in nairobi apart from a few years that i would work just a bit out of nairobi but not so far away from nairobi so i'm a town girl and so i thank god because I was born in the city uh, sometimes I reminisce reminisce it's reminisce reminisce is that the word how it, how would it would it be if I grew up in the village well probably I would never know about the city life and so this is what I know and this is what I've lived it's been great it's been great but of course uh, growing up you your parents are responsible for you until when now you reach like when i reached form 4 and that's the farthest my parents could go with me because we were many kids and everyone needed to school so at least each and every one of us finished our secondary school here in Kenya we call it secondary school um yeah every one of us at least managed to do uh, their form 4 uh, exams and after that you are on your own to be able to start life and so like most people you would go out there and look for jobs we did some promotional jobs we babysat we washed people's clothes um we did all kinds of jobs to be able to get uh by and it was crazy it was crazy but that made us tough that made us who we are today and so because of one reason or the other many of us their parents could not even afford to take them to college i know i was lucky for my parents to take me for the basics at least i did some computer i did some typing and uh yeah i was able to have something to say at least i can type at least i can handle a computer back then i know so much has changed with technology and we learn as we go but at least having the basics what was every parent's dream for their child just go for the basics do computer do a language do something basic so that you can start with 
And so for me, I thank God that I have the basics and if the worst comes to worst, at least I can say I can handle a computer if nothing else. Yeah, so, <clears throat> sorry, growing up was, wow, I can't say it was good. It was many years ago and it was good. It's compared to growing up today, it's very different. It's very different. And so I just want to thank God for this far that he has brought me that tomorrow I can celebrate my many years in this world. I cannot take that for granted. I want to really just continue praying and hoping for the best in my life. I thank God for what I have and even for what I do not have. I continue asking him that he can provide according to his will. So long as we are alive, we have hope. And so there are many times I feel like crying, I feel like telling God, why, why haven't you given me this? Why don't I have this? Why, why, why? And it, it gets crazy because sometimes you don't get answers. And sometimes maybe you do in small ways, not in the way that you want. But that's a story for another day. I thank God I'm alive today. Today I really just wanted to share with us about my growing up so that my viewers, my subscribers can really get to know a bit of how Lillian grew up. So that when you're watching my videos, you can be able to try and relate with what is in the video. Uh, keep encouraging me, keep encouraging your girl. This is a new year. We want to do new things, new adventures, new um, stories. We'll talk a lot about, we'll share a lot of our stories, we'll share a lot about life, and we will do life together. And so, thank you so much for this time, for watching and listening to my story as I grew up. I know probably I've not shared so many details, but I can share all those details in a few minutes. But keep following me, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, or comment on the video section what you think about the video add what you think maybe can make the video look better or what you would want me to share and if it is shareable of course i will be able to share it and so thank you so much for listening and thank you so much for being on my channel on my tv please encourage me please support me in any way you can by liking commenting sharing and if you've not subscribed kindly subscribe take your girl to 500 before June, that is my goal, to be able to reach uh, 500 or even more. I know um, there are many subscriptions that people do, but please subscribe to your girl's channel and support this channel. Thank you so much. God bless you. In your new year, may all your dreams come true. May all your desires be fulfilled.